In Shining World Curing Award News from Australia. Created in 2004, Sleepy Burrows is a sanctuary home for a number of wombats and other animals who are sick, injured, orphaned, and undergoing rehabilitation. The founder of Sleepy Burrows, Donna Steppen, and a small team of volunteers work tirelessly to ensure that the wombats are properly cared for at all times of the day and night. The team supports them in developing the necessary skills to be released into the wild. Public education campaigns are also carried out and the sanctuary also hosts visits where people learn about the needs and challenges of these lovable creatures. People don't know a lot about wombats in terms of their size and where they're at mentally and where they should be. They'll see what is in fact a juvenile teenage wombat and think, oh, it's a, it's a big wombat, it's an adult. No. So when I do teach people or if people come here, we have creche. We have Wombat Primary School number one and two, which is for toddlers, badly behaving toddlers. Um, and then once they start to thrive in that area, they move up into Wombat High School and they graduate into Wombat University. And I, I would imagine honours, your honours degree would be the soft release area where that's their final stage before they get released. For being a haven to these iconic animals, our beneficent Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully presents Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary, the Shining World Caring Award, plus 15,000 US dollars with heartfelt love, praises, and gratitude. Our association members in Maryland, Australia, delightedly presented the award letter, Crystalline Clark, Master's Financial Gift, and her uplifting publications and DVDs to Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary. Australia's largest bear nose wombat sanctuary, Sleepy Burrows is a place where wombats dominate and humans accommodate, highlighting the selfless dedication underpinning your calling. Your 18 to 20 hour days, caring for up to 75 distressed furry friends, reflect the love and commitment that saw you recognised with the Medal of the Order of Australia in 2017 for services to animal welfare. In gratitude for such kind support of her work, Miss Steppen conveyed the following words to Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you for seeing how precious this work is and how incredible these animals are. That they're worth work, they're worth preserving, and that they all form part of something incredible that people need to see. Ms. Stepan was also overjoyed to receive the financial gift from Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you so much. It's allowed us to be able to finish the Wombat Hospital Studio, which we've been raising funds for for close to two years, and that has been the finishing touch. Um, we've now been able to order it and just doing final council plans. So that is huge. That's massive to be able to have a place where we can actually bring them into, be treated, be kept secure, whether it's burn victims, whether it's pneumonia, whether it's mange, it's going to be incredible. So that is invaluable to the century. And after 15 years, it's now a reality. So <laughs> thank you so much. We congratulate you, Donna Steppen, and all of the remarkable people involved in helping to run Sleepy Burrows Warm Bat Sanctuary. May you all be forever blessed in God's grace. For the full presentation of the Shining World Caring Award to Sleepy Burrows Warm Bat Sanctuary, please tune in to our Shining World Awards program at a later date. COVID patients often suffer long-term effects. A study that looked at over 1,700 hospitalized coronavirus patients in Wuhan, China, revealed that 76% continued to be affected by at least one symptom half a year after the onset of the illness. The long-term impacts include fatigue, loss of taste and smell, chest pain, shortness of breath, and depression, among others. In New York City, United States, 
a center for post-COVID care was established. It has already seen and cared for more than 1,600 patients, while the waiting list for an appointment is months long. Its medical director, Dr. Zi Tianjin, noted that the post-COVID syndrome can affect men, women, young and old alike, and even those with mild initial symptoms. Scientists and healthcare providers continue research to find remedies for the condition. Our gratitude, all researchers and medical professionals involved. In heaven's mercy, we pray for the afflicted. May we all adopt the vegan lifestyle to safeguard our health. Faster than light travel found to be possible. Dr. Eric Lenz, a physicist from the United States, has published his proposal on how spaceships could travel faster than the speed of light. His method suggests a kind of engine called a warp drive, using a wave known as a soliton that can move at a higher speed than light. However, his current calculations show that his proposal would require as much energy as is contained in the mass of hundreds of Jupiters, so more research is needed to minimize this amount. Dr. Lenz believes a prototype will be available within a decade. Thus, a round-trip interstellar journey could be made within a human's lifetime, whereas at sub-light speed, it would take multiple lifetimes to reach some distant destinations. Thank you, Dr. Eric Lenz, for your remarkable paper. May we soon become benevolent enough to wisely handle such awesome technology in divine wisdom. Saudi Arabia to reduce carbon emissions and safeguard the environment. Saudi Arabia recently revealed the Saudi Green Initiative, which will help the nation to protect the planet and move towards an Earth-friendly economy. As part of the project, the kingdom will plant 10 billion trees in a largely desert landscape with extremely limited water resources in the decades ahead, as well as use renewable sources to produce half of their energy by 2030. They have also started the Middle East Green Initiative, which has the goal of planting 40 billion trees across the region in neighboring countries in what would be the world's largest reforestation program ever enacted. Saudi Arabia is a laureate of two Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, a Shining World Leadership Award for Peace, and a Shining World Leadership for Loving Care Award. Such a grand vision, Saudi Arabia, to regreen your nation and the neighboring Arab states while switching to renewable energy. In Allah's benediction, may the trees you plant grow with vigor and soon create vibrant landscapes of life. Black Labrador swept out to sea gets rescued. A black Labrador named Shada was playing with his ball on the Northumberland beach in the United Kingdom and chased after it into the frigid North Sea. The rough current carried the canine about 180 meters from the shore, making it hard for him to swim back. Luckily, the local Blythe Coast Guard notified the Royal National Lifeboat Institutions, or RNLI's crew, a nonprofit specialized in saving people and animals at sea, of Shada's location. The team rushed to the site and brought the Labrador to safety, where he was soon reunited with his grateful caregiver and was expected to fully recover. Our smiling praises to the Blythe Coast Guard and RNLI crew. We are so gladdened to learn about your safety rescue Shada and wish you many happy years with your human companion in heaven's joy. Grocery stores in Hong Kong stopped selling fish after watching Seaspiracy. A zero-waste grocery chain called Slowwood in Hong Kong has decided to discontinue stocking fish after being prompted by the new documentary Seaspiracy, produced by vegan filmmaker Kip Anderson. We are at war with the oceans and if we win this war, we're going to lose it all because Mankind is not able to live on this planet with the Dead Sea. If you want to address climate change, the first thing you do is protect the ocean. And the solution to that is very simple. Leave it alone. The film, which was recently released on Netflix, outlines the enormous detrimental impact of the global fishing industry on the oceans and planet, while also exposing the underlying corruption. Slowwood stated, We believe every tiny step counts and hope to join our community to make the world a better place. A big applause, Slowwood, for ceasing the sale of fish to help save lives. In celestial love, may all stores follow your noble example and remove all animal products from their stores so that our vital seas and land may once again thrive. 
Bison returned to historic habitats. The Denver, Colorado Parks and Recreation Department in the United States has relocated 13 bison to the Cheyenne and Arapaho Nations in Oklahoma and one of these magnificent animals to the Tall Bull Memorial Council in Colorado. They will continue to reintroduce more of them to the region in a program that will last until 2030. It is envisioned that the native nations will develop bison herds on their lands. North America used to be the home of 30 million bison at one time, but their numbers sadly declined to 1,000 by the start of the 20th century. Currently, there are approximately 31,000 of them living in the wild in North America. Such heartwarming news! Denver Parks and Recreation and all caring indigenous nations involved. May the populations of these majestic animals continue to increase as they bless the land with their peace-filled presence in divine protection.